are these people? This Cretan is back. Mm -hmm. um, so we've talked about her definitely like last year around this time. Because you um, look like a bitch? What? Uh, um... Because so this is Daniela Weiss. For those of you who do not know, she's one of the top settlers uh, in the West Bank who is very you know what? I respect her as far, far as her total honesty. You know, like, she's basically a raging lunatic in terms of actively uh, verbalizing her desire to get rid of Palestinians uh, from the West Bank and to resettle the West Bank. But now they're talking about, you know, not just the West Bank, but also in Gaza as well. So there was a conference that a lot of these demons attended that Daniel Weiss uh, was a part of. And surprised but not surprised that this did not get any mainstream media coverage. Coverage? Of course, of course not. I mean, it barely of gets independent not. coverage. I think I saw maybe right. one or two people, if, and they're the people I would expect to talk about it, you know? So, right. um, like, so, um, so we're going to do it because we can and we should. Yeah. Um, but I think I didn't put him here, but this is uh, this written by Brett. Uh, well, friend of the network, Brett Wilkins, uh, mm -hmm. also in the in the uh, award winner from twenty twenty two. Two. Yep. Two. Yep. So he was in that inaugural class. Uh, we've had him on a couple of times. We probably should have him on again at some point. Um, but he wrote this. So he wrote, Conquer, Kick Out, Resettle. Israel's far-right gatherers, gatherers to plan ethnic cleansing of Gaza. Each of you will witness how Jews go to Gaza and Arabs will disappear from Gaza, one prominent, said one prominent Israeli settler. So... Brett continues. Hundreds of Israelis, including numerous state senior state officials, gathered Sunday near the Gaza border for a festive two-day rally at which members of Prime Minister Ben Netanyahu's government and leaders of the settler movement, zoom out, zoom out, I'm good, openly spoke of ethnically cleansing Palestinians in the embattled coastal in enclave to make way for Jewish recolonization. We came here with one clear purpose, to settle the entire Gaza Strip, every inch from north to south. Daniela Weiss, who co-founded the extremist settler movement, Nachala, which yeah. organized a rally backed by Nanya, who's Luke party, Luke party, told attendees on Monday, look who, sorry, mm -hmm. told attendees on Monday as joyous music played in the background. We're thousands of people and ready to move to Gaza at a moment's notice, she continued. October 7th changed history. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, sure. Um, made as a super of, stirred. Right. As a result of the brutal massacre, the Gazian Arabs have lost their rights to be here forever. They'll not stay here. Okay. We, we plan to take what we have acquired in the years of settling Judea and Samaria and do the same thing here in Gaza, Weiss asserted referring to the historical Jewish names of the illegally occupied Palestinian West Bank territories being gradually usurped by Israeli seizure and settlement. Each of you will witness how Jews go to Gaza and Arabs will disappear from Gaza. I want to say to the world, this isn't just for the Jews. We're doing this for the benefit of the entire world, added Weiss, who earlier this year was sanctioned by Canada for inciting violence against Palestinians in the illegally occupied West Bank. Ending the evil powers for everyone. I call on the democracies of the world to stand with us. Adopt the values of the Bible. Okay. Israeli National Security Minister Itama Ben Gavir, leader of the far right Jewish Power Party, told attendees What we have learned this year is that everything is up to us. We are the owners of this land. So, in case you want to hear more of this Cretan speak, uh, this is. Uh, a tweet from Rachel Hinkle where she basically uh, has a re recording of her going into her spiel. Mm -hmm. um, 
So if you want to play it, you can go ahead and read. So we plan to take what we acquired in the years of settling to then Samaria and to do the same thing here in Gaza. I want to tell you now that in less than a year, each one of you can call me and ask me, did you succeed in fulfilling your dream? And the answer will be yes. Actually, you don't have to call me because you will witness how Jews go to Gaza and Arabs disappear from Gaza. Yeah, how did they do that? How did they disappear, you fucking crazy white lady? Anyway. Um, um, yes, we experienced a terrible catastrophe, he added. But what we need to understand one year later, so many Israelis have changed their thinking. They understand that when Israel acts like the rightful owners of this land, this is what brings results. May Golan, Minister for Social Equity and the Advancement of the Status of Women in Israel, told rally goers, we will hit them where it hurts, their land. Anyone who uses their plot of land to plan another Holocaust will receive from us, with God's help, another Nakba. Oh, Jesus Golan added, Christ. Referring to the ethnic cleansing of more than 750,000 Arabs from Palestine by Jewish militants during the establishment of the modern state of Israel in 1948. Around two-thirds of Gaza's population are descendants of Nakba refugees. Seema Hansen of the, groups, of the group Mother's Parade told the Ogian audience that, I am going to say something that not everyone is prepared to say, but I am, and I know a lot of you are. Conquer, kick out, resettle. Hey. So, uh, I, there's a clip here. I'm not going to play it, probably due to copyright. Yeah. Uh, is sure anyway he doesn't say anything but uh, Rachel Fink uh, tweeted far right national security minister it Itamar Rangavir leads a crowd in song at the preparing to resettle Gaza conference which took place over two days on Israel's southern border with Gaza Rangavir was greeted by eager applause from the crowd we are the owners of this land he told them and when we act like it this is what brings results he repeated his call to encourage Gazians to voluntarily quote unquote transfer to other countries because that land belongs to us yeah this is the bullshit we've heard from them before where it's like oh yeah no they volunteered to leave yeah fuck you like i'm not just talking about one area of gaza she continues i'm not just talking about northern gaza i mean every single sliver of land it's the only way we'll save our boys from constantly going to war to everyone in Europe who has an opinion about what's happening here, I say, don't get involved, Hamsam added. Worry about yourselves. Radical Islam is taking over your whole continent. You want to help? Take in the Gazians who want to leave Gaza. Other cabinet ministers who spoke at the rally include Finance Minister Bezabel Smotrich, yeah, of the Religious Zionist Party, and the Gev and Galilee Minister Zitak Waspalov, that's German, of yep. Jewish power. Knesset members in attendance include Ariel Karner, Avishal Boleron, Asher Salakim, who cares, Tali Dovik, and, and Seth Sasson, Lugeta of Lukud, Lukud. Zvai Sukkot of the Religious Zionist, Zionist Party, Zionist Party. And Lee yeah. Moore's son, Hamalik, from Jewish power. We need to occupy the complete land of Israel. There are no innocent people in Gaza, uh, Golev told Middle East Eye. Everyone who has refused to leave the north is a collaborator. There are no innocent people in Gaza. I mean, they're just One telling them themselves now, huh? Right, basically. And that's why right. it's not being reported in mainstream media, because they straight up give the, the whole game away. Yeah. So, while numerous Israeli officials called for the recolonization of the Gaza Strip prior to the October 7th, 2023 Hamas-led attack, such calls have accelerated since then. In January, Ben Gavir, Smolderich, and other senior Israeli officials attended a similar but smaller conference hosted by Nachala on the Jewish recolonization of Gaza. 
Last year, Amir Whiteman, who chairs Likud's liberation, li libertarian faction, published a plan examining the economics of forcibly transferring Gazians, Gazians to Egypt's Sinai Desert. Yep. A separate 2023 proposal by then Intelligence Minister Ila Gamliel, who is also a Likud member, would ethnically cleanse Palestinians from Gaza, forcing them into the Sinai. Which we've talked Manish about. Go look at Israel's secret plan on the channel. Yes. Um, that covers that specifically. So. Monday's rally came as Israeli military continued its relentless 381 day assault on Gaza, which has left more than 152,000 Palestinians dead, maimed, or missing, and for which Israel is on trial for genocide by the ICJ. Um, yep. In recent weeks, Israeli forces have intensified attacks on northern Gaza, seen by numerous observers as part of the coastal strip most likely to be seized by Israel, including Saturday airstrikes in Belit Halia, which more, in which more than 200, 120 Palestinians were killed, wounded, or missing. The intensified assault comes as some Israeli troops claim the Israel Defense Forces have launched a so-called General's Plan, a blueprint for the starvation and ethnic cleansing of Palestinians from northern Gaza, and has been reported um, aid has been blocked by Israel into yeah. the Strip since the beginning of the month. And they recently the made which, UNRWA like illegal or whatever. Right. So. The U.S., which provides Israel with tens of billions of dollars in military aid and diplomatic cover, last week warned Israeli leaders against any such policy of salvation, which critics countered is already being implemented throughout Gaza with deadly results. Yeah. More than 20 Israeli settlements were built in Gaza for, following Israel's conquest of the territory during the 1967 Six-Day War. While Israeli troops and settlers withdrew from Gaza in 2005, the besieged enclave is still considered occupied under international law, as Israel maintains a physical and economic stranglehold on the territory. Um, so there's one more tweet uh, that I pulled from Asai Rod, uh, where she writes, Hey, New York Times, BBC World, Washington Post, Reuters, AP, CNN. This is why Israel is doing my ministers openly talk about illegally settling Gaza. This is a picture of ethnic cleansing. It should be your top story, but it's not. And it would not be if it were a picture from Ukraine. So this is a tweet. She we posted this from uh, Hind uh, Kalari, uh, yeah. who basically tweeted, you "Either live or die." So yep. yeah. So this is the reality of what's happening in Gaza right now. But Trump will make it. Trump will make yeah, it make much it, worse. Make it worse, bro. Yeah. Um. um as in the Occupy West Bank, Israel's summons in Gaza, as well as the occupation itself, were illegal under international law. In July, the ICG, ICJ issued an advisory opinion saying that Israel's 57-year occupation of the West Bank and Gaza is an illegal form of apartheid that must end as rapidly as possible. However, in language resembling the Palestinian liberation slogan from the river to the sea, the Quds founding platform states that between the sea and the Jordan River, there will only be Israeli sovereignty. On multiple occasions over the past year or so, Yanyahu has publicly displayed maps showing the Middle East in, the, in which there is no Palestine, and that all Palestinian lines are labeled as Israel, which we've talked about before recently. Yeah. Um, again, preaching to the choir, and again, don't want to talk about that bit more, but you know, I think this story is important because this just goes to show, number one, you know, they have been extremely open about their intentions. We've talked about their intentions on this show. Yeah. Um, but again, given that, you know, like initially it was just the West Bank that they were trying to take over. And now they're be pretty much being now with this assault, they're pretty much being open to kind of saying, no, we want Gaza too. And given the... Um, you know, escalation that we're seeing, you can argue Lebanon as well. So, any last thoughts? Nope. I mean, we've talked about them pushing them into Egypt before, you know, yeah, like, which they wanted up all the way up to the Nile, which I guarantee you, the minute they push refugees into Egypt, it'll be 
well, you know, Egypt hates us now too, so we have to take their land. You know, it's it's going to be just more of the same. So, I mean, that's literally not just me saying that. That's them saying that. Like, right. so I wish it were just speculation. It's not. But, yeah, I mean, like, uh, you know, again, th this lady's been evil for quite a fucking time. You know, I'm not surprised, yeah, and but... I, I, honestly, it's surprising to me that she's not getting any more attention in mainstream media than I believe she is, because... Yeah, like, not many people even know who that person is, so... Right. You know... And and we we've covered it partially because you know they're just trying to blame this all on Netanyahu, right? Put right. it on the figurehead, and when in when in reality it's like there's an entire culture over there that's part of the problem. So, right. you know, including these people and Ben Gavir and you know, like I mean, you name it. There's there's a Zionist over there that is more than willing to just wipe everything out. So, and like. Yeah, I mean, I hope we just don't hear this. Tactical nuke incoming! That, that would not be great. So, um, I mean, considering what we're doing, and regardless who will become president, you know, I feel like that's going to happen. I, I wouldn't be... That, I mean, we're due for that. <laughs> I, say, <Yeah. laughs> I say that uh, with fear and condemnation. With fear, but, you know, I feel that will probably happen if you know, we continue to, you know, it's do certainly. what we're doing, or at least kind of being complicit in what we're doing in Israel. Worried about Iran for those reasons, too, so. Right. You know, and they have um, more than enough reason to at this point. Um, but, yeah. But shout out to Brett for reporting on this story, but... The catch is reporting on the stories is why we're demonetizing YouTube. So if you want to help us out so we're able to highlight uh, independent uh, journalists such as Brett, uh, being able to uh, keep him employed and to keep us from not being uh, fully suppressed on YouTube as well as probably other platforms as well as those. You can scan the QR code uh, or go to the link that you see at the bottom of your screen if you would like to donate to INN. Um, and as always, as we say, please take care of your family first before you and your communities before you take care of us. But any donation up to even as little as a dollar will be extremely helpful. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, and to share our content to help us fight the suppression that we're seeing on YouTube. And make sure you leave a comment. As we say, a lot of our segments come from ideas that you kind of share or stories that you kind of share. So please let us know what stories you would like us to cover, uh, such as this, and help us get to 3K so that we're able to continue to grow and we're able to reach to more, get to more people. And thank you for watching. Thank you.